Hey, hey, everyone. My name is Rachel Hull. I am a first grade teacher and I help teachers set up and maintain literacy stations in their classrooms. And then in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an anchor chart using Seesaw. And I've already shown you how to do it on Google Slides. So that link will be below. But today we're going to use Seesaw. So we're going to want to make anchor charts digitally because it is so difficult right now to make and share your anchor charts with your students. And so in this virtual or hybrid environment that we're finding in, we need every bit of uh, help reaching our students as we can. And when we're able to move around in our classrooms freely again, which I believe we will, we can still keep our digital anchor charts and push them out to our students at their literacy stations. I've written an article on how to do this and create them and it's available on teachingforsees.com and that link will be below in the comments. So we're going to make our anchor chart today on main idea and if at any time I go too fast please pause the video and work at your own pace and catch up. I find if you need ideas for anchor charts, Pinterest is the best place to go. They have beautiful anchor charts on there that teachers have already made and you can kind of adapt them to meet your own needs here, especially since we're gonna to need to scale down a little bit to fit it onto our digital slides. So let's switch over to Seesaw. The really cool part about Seesaw is you're gonna be able to make your video right onto this activity. So imagine it's like an anchor chart and a mini lesson all in one. So let me show you you how to do that. So within your Seesaw app you're going to click on create a new activity and then choose a template and you're going to use the drawing tool and all you need to do to add a video is click on the camera and then the video. Now you can see there I am right now you can click on any of these three dots um, to make the video go so I'll push it we've got a three second countdown here and now I'm recording and when I'm finished I click done. And I might choose to record um, a read aloud that has the skill that I'm working on. Or I might choose to make the actual chart, anchor chart, on paper during this video. So depending on what you want your students to learn, you would put a mini lesson right here. And when you're done, you click on done. And now it is now added right to your first slide of your seesaw activity. You can uh, resize it and you can always choose to add more information over here. I always lock it down that way the students cannot move it but they can still watch it. You can always decide to add more information on a second page but I'm going to just add my information right here on my chart. So I'm going to click on the text box. I'm going to type in main idea and I can move that over here and then I'm going to add another text box and we're going to say what the story is most about. Now I'm making it very simple today for demonstration purposes but what you can do is you can go in there and jazz it up. You can also add images if you want to click on the uh, camera and upload clip art. Make sure that you're able to use the, um, the copyright you got to be careful with the copyright, so make sure it's an image you're allowed to use. Now I've added my text, but I can also choose to take a picture of the chart that I made on the video. So if I made a main idea chart on my paper and I uh, took video of it, I can take a picture of that chart and I can add it right here by clicking on the camera and clicking upload. And I can put it right into my Seesaw activity as well. So then I have my video. If I choose to add a picture, I can add a picture in there and move things around and I have my text. You'll notice it's pretty simple because I don't want a lot of uh, clip art or images to take away from what I'm trying to convey to my students. But what I sh will show you to how to do is add some audio right to your text. And that way for younger readers who may not be able to read that, you can read it for them. So let me move, yeah, my camera's right there. What you'll do is you will click on add page and we're going to make a shape. And um, let's just do an orange triangle or orange square. I'm going to make it pretty big. I'm going to cover the whole thing that I can. 
okay? And you, I'll show you why here in just a second. So now what I'll do is I'll click on record and I'll want to read what either the chart says, you can read it word for word, main idea means what the story is mostly about, or you can talk to your kiddos and say, hey guys, remember that we worked on main idea? What is the main idea again? Oh, that's right, it is what the story is mostly about. So I'm gonna click on record. You'll give a three second countdown. Hey guys, do you remember we worked on main idea? Do you remember what main idea means? If you said it's what the story mo is mostly about, you would be correct. And then I click on done. Now I can move this around. This shape now has that audio embedded right on it. How cool is that? And I can resize it. And so what I like to do is I will click on Control X or Command X if you have a Mac. So Control X, I have it on my clipboard and I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to paste it with Control V. And I'm going to resize it and I am going to put it right here for the students to be able to play and I'll lock it in. They can still play it. The reason why we put that orange shape, and you can pick any shape you want, is so it stands out. Um, and that way it doesn't have just this little, um, um, play button so it kind of stands out. I would use the same color. So if you're gonna use an orange square, use an orange square every time so your students know to look for that. Now you're finished with your anchor chart. You have your video and any images you've added in. You have text with audio. I would probably go in and delete this last page by clicking on those two dots and clicking on delete. That way it's not a uh, distraction. You can always get rid of that last page. And when you're finished, you click on the check mark. And now it's all uploaded and ready to send to your students. If you do find yourself short of time and you want to have some anchor charts that that you don't have time to make. They're available in my store, which is uh, literacystations.com, and I'll add the link right below in the comments. And while you're down there in the comments, leave me a comment and let me know how this went for you, see if you have any questions. Um, and while you're down there, also click like and subscribe so you will know about any new videos that I put out for you and your literacy stations. Have a good one.